Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So pretty much today's one of those days where I'm doing like a two in one. I just painted and did the situation over the bookcase. I decided, there's flies and bugs in here because the doors are open. But I decided to just a uh, box picture frame above the two pieces because it didn't look like the piece that I had it on top. It looked like, there you go. I just went to Best Buy and I picked up the eight terabyte easy store the backup you guys my computer is moving slower than slow so i just picked this up this flies all over this house but um, i'm gonna show you guys the kitchen and what's going on with that this is the kitchen so freaking nice so freaking nice i wanted to just have everything kind of flush i'm actually okay with the cabinets being up there because the walls are all going to get painted and I think within like the next week to two weeks I'm going to go ahead and start painting everything. I'm actually going to go into the store today, Home Depot, so I can get some paint. I decided to go ahead and move with the Benjamin Moore, the same color as I did the fireplace and I'm also going to repaint the fireplace. This is the piece of trim that I'm going to need and essentially it's going to go in the middle. and. I think, I think I should just do one box just to kind of elongate it instead of doing two. The reason why I'm a little sketchy on the fence about two is I do want to do like a faux, it's going to be a picture light you guys, but it's just not going to work. I think I mentioned that previously. Overall, Joseph is doing an amazing job. It looks so good. I'm not going to do the picture box frame uh, on the cabinets in the kitchen like I said once. The walls get painted, you're really gonna see it popping in. Ooh, you guys. Look at my entryway. Look at the wall. Oh, it really does. I mean, it looks good. It looks really good. I'm really happy about the outcome of how everything is looking. So, hopefully, you guys are seeing it. And if you're feeling like doing something in your home, it motivates you to do something, especially if you know it's like your forever home. I 100% say, you know, live in your home the way that you see fit, not how anyone else wants you to be in your home and stuff like that. Because you have to live in there, you have to wake up, you have to be motivated, you gotta work, you gotta pay all, all those bills, because they don't come late. They all time, every month, like clockwork. So, I 100% say, you know, live your life to the fullest, within limitation, of course, but for the most part, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm gonna turn the camera because Joseph, um, I'm gonna turn the camera because Joseph has started to um, the trim. I want you guys to see it. I'll be cleaning up, washing dishes because I just went to, um, I went to um, the store and I got, I couldn't find Dawn. I was in Atlanta and I found, I found it and I, I grabbed it in Atlanta. So I'm just gonna clean off the countertop, wipe everything down. It's gonna get dirty again, so I'm not gonna do like no extensive cleaning. I'm just gonna wipe everything down to get it clean and stuff so you guys can see that, okay? My best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you? Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me, so clueless.
I'm done with the cabinets, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the night routine side of things. Even though it's dark, it's still a little bit early. I wanna say it was around 7.30ish. So what I'm gonna be doing is painting the plywood. Um, if you guys are wondering, in case you missed it, what I did is I took one of the shelvings from the bookcase and I took it into Home Depot and I had a paint match. I realized that once the paint dried, now we're in like two days, that is actually lighter than the cabinet. So what I'm gonna have to do is remove one of the doors and actually go get that to get a paint match. So if you're doing a project like this at home, I would take the cabinet doors and not the actual shelving. I just thought the shelving was gonna be lighter and smaller and I'll be able to make a quick in and out. But of course, being a mom, working late into the night, the kids kind of creep in. Let me know if COVID has changed how your kids are. I feel like mine have gotten a little bit more clingy. So now that everyone is happy and hugged up, my oldest son decided to go ahead and help me to hold the paint tray so I can get around. Pretty much that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and finish painting. Once I'm done painting, I am then going to fully clean the kitchen. Hope you guys enjoy. Unable to bend, I never listened. Trying to prove it, just like the movies. I was gonna stay in the fight with you. To get everything done it looks so good and so custom i love it the only thing that's not done right now is the corners getting the wood filler but i'm gonna wait allow this paint to sit for two days get a sander or heavy grit and go on the edge and do like all the edges and then go in with the wood filler he's gonna come and do it so i'm gonna do a video discussing the build grade stuff um, it's not that the builder didn't offer some of the things that I'm doing right now. It's just for me to get the plywood and have Joseph come out and do what he just did today, which basically took, I will say three, maybe five, six hours. Joseph charged me like $700. Um, for me personally, I just feel like that was a lot more feasible than the builder actually doing the extension that i wanted and damn near charging me for like another kitchen so i just felt like it would be better to do certain things so i'm gonna do another build a great video because i feel like the first one that i did i wasn't in my house and maybe you guys just didn't want to listen to me when i was talking so i'm gonna do another video explaining the upgrades and why i chose to do it like again the builder did offer to do certain upgrades not everything that i'm doing but certain upgrades um i'm gonna give you an example for me to go up on the base trim and get trim added to the window was almost like four thousand dollars i did not spend four thousand dollars on trim <laughs> okay i did not do that so what i did is i knew that i was going to be getting shutters roman shades and all the jazz and everything like that so i knew once the shutters were gonna come in, I was gonna get the shutters with the trim on the outside. So I, if it was kind of crazy for me to then turn around and pay for trim. So I just, I'm gonna do those things. So anyway, not only am I gonna do a blog, but I'm gonna do a video discussing all of these things and try my best to answer all your questions. So if you have a question pertaining to 
build a great let me just say build a great wear because it looks really good now <laughs> i highly recommend just leaving them down below that way when i do the q a or whatever i can do my best to touch on everything let me just say i'm not an expert i don't know every single thing but i do know um i've done a new build with an atlanta client i've done a new build with a jacksonville client and i've done a new build with myself okay so i went into design i kind of saw pricing i kind of saw upgrades and things like that i may not know the process for every single builder but i feel like i at least have enough information that i can at least kind of help you guys through your process um a lot of you guys was with me with the first house and i wanted to change a few things but i didn't um, not only that, even in the first house, I took my time implementing different things and upgrading the pantry, the laundry room, just different things in the house in general. But um, I, say, I say that to say I'm not the type of person that I can't do without. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, um, I would rather the foundation be what I want it to be and look how I want to look aesthetic wise and then I can start doing furniture then for me to hurry up and put furniture in here and then the furniture looks like eh, instead of it being like damn. But anyway, leave your questions down below. I will be sure to answer them. And again, if you're new to my channel, let me just explain this one more again. My decorate with me is not the typical decorate with me that you would see on um youtube simply because one i'm ordering custom furniture it's gonna take a long time to get it okay i just placed the order maybe two weeks ago so it's gonna take a really really long time to get it and i understand that i'm just gonna be honest i have to do it the way people come at me and the way people come at me they don't say oh your living room looks good where'd you get it they're like how did you do your bookcase yes yes Bye. Bye. Joseph, thank you so much. I'm glad that you like it. I love it. I'm more than like it. I love it. It looks incredible. You did an amazing job. Thank you so very much. That's good. Good to hear you. Yes, thank right. you. Bye, good night. Bye, good night. Um, okay, so as I was saying, oh, so as I was saying, when people DM me or they message me or they email me, they're not really in particular asking, you know, how did you put this room together? It's in particular, they're saying, how did you get your bookcase together? Like, what was the process? Where did the wall art come from? You know, what was this, what was this? So I find that breaking it up into like, decorate with me where I'm decorating a bookcase, decorate with me where I'm doing this kitchen, it helps me in trying to kind of tear off questions. I am gonna do a playlist of like the decorate with me's that way if you're interested you can kind of see the process to everything like right now i no lie i think i had about 200 messages asking me how did i get my fireplace together because every single day well i should say for the month for the month i may have like a thousand new people come on my page that don't know me never seen my content before and they're looking for that thing in particular so if you click on the video and you're looking to see like a full reveal, I'm really, really sorry. Maybe one of these days I'll do that. You know, once the bookcase is done and this is done and then I can implement things into the space. But for right now, it's just a lot easier to do that because the questions that are coming in, they're very like um, specific. Like, how did you do that? How did you do the laundry room? How did you put this together? what's the organization system like what like they're asking actual like individual questions and i think it's because of the whole process altogether anyway i'm exhausted i'm tired i didn't get too much paint on me but i did get paint on my new jumpsuit like that kind of sucks i'm gonna wash it and scrub it down real quick in the wash and see if it'll come off but i'm gonna go ahead and clean the kitchen get it as clean as possible in a couple days it's gonna get sand and repainted again and all that stuff so i'm not gonna do like too much of a detail cleaning i'm gonna wait once everything is done but let me just show you guys the kitchen from here oh baby baby you're dancing with the strange oh my gosh you guys Mom. yeah Did leave? yes Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks really, 
really really good i love it and it's crazy because on instagram i've seen at least 20 different people with this exact layout but now i feel like my kitchen kind of stands out on its own when i think of turnkey ready like this is this is my my imagination you know what i'm saying <laughs> like i'm coming into a house and i don't have to do anything you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that this is your process i'm just saying like i am actually quite particular when it comes to um you know where i live and all that jazz especially now you know what i'm saying like i want to be at peace i want to be happy i want to come home and listen if i can't swipe with swipe i would like to actually see where my money's going you know what i'm saying so this right here makes my spirit so happy but anyway i hope you guys enjoy today's video i enjoyed bringing it to you guys as always if you haven't already, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And you guys have an amazing night, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
So my son wants to sing for you guys really quickly. Go ahead. <laughs> when Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. 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 I'm not worried about a thing. You don't know the rest of the words? No. Because I know you are guiding me. Where you lead me, Lord, I will go. <laughs> I have no fear. All right, you guys. Have a good day. Bye.